It has been quite a journey to get to this point. And if you're new to programming, you learned a lot of new concepts in a short period of time. But you did it. You made your first app and you learned a ton along the way. If you're new to programming, I don't expect that you were able to understand 100% of everything you did, especially the bits that involve swift coding. But don't worry, we cover that in great detail in some of the other courses on our site. For now, all that's important is that you're getting used to working with Xcode and you understand some of the core concepts like objects, methods, and variables. Now that you've completed this course, I recommend that the next course you watch be Programming in Swift. This is included in your RayWenderlich.com subscription and it's been designed to be a follow-up to this course. In Programming in Swift, we switch gears and start taking a deep dive into the Swift programming language itself. By the time you're finished programming in Swift, you'll have a solid foundation of Swift knowledge and you'll be ready to get back to making your second iOS app. But for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy your accomplishment of making your first Swift 4 an iOS 11 app. And when you're ready for more, come on back and watch Programming in Swift.